Hey guys, welcome back to Stealing Wheels. I haven't had many episodes up lately. I've been pretty busy. Had a lot of stuff going on at home and, you know, personal life stuff. Sorry to bore you with that. Anyways, so we're going to kick this episode off with some PI prep. Me and a few of my mates, we're going to make the trip down to Melbourne. COVID is sort of here, sort of not there. Uh, we're going to risk it. We're going to see if we can get there, get back, have some fun. We're doing three days down in Phillip Island. Um, should be an awesome trip. We are going over to one of my mate's workplaces and very highly esteemed um, bike place, One Addiction in Lawton. Um, we're gonna go over there and we're gonna throw the bike on the dyno, make sure it's all good. They're also gonna fit my new rubber to my wheels so that we can um, have some new rubber. We are doing a practice day out at Morgan Park on Tuesday, which is three days from now. So <clears throat> we're gonna head over there we're going to put it on the dyno, make sure it's all good. They are the ones that have tuned this bike um, previously. Um, prior to that tune, um, I broke an exhaust and now it's got a new exhaust on it. It's also had the injectors done in it and a bit of other stuff. So we're just going to put it up there. It seems to run a really fat down low, like when it's idling in the pits, you can't really be near it. So. Um, yeah, we'll just throw it up there, see if there's anything any good, anything wrong with the tune or if there's anything we can sharpen up on it, make it a little bit better. Not necessarily gain more power or anything, just make it more crisp and whatnot. All right, well, i got about a two-hour trek over there, so I'll see you when I get there, guys. All right, guys, we made it over to One Addiction, as you can tell. Moto, bro. That's where it's at. Jack's just finishing up his uh, Q-Ride course. He's a Q-Ride instructor, for you guys who don't know. He's... um really good at it. You know, your license, come over here guys. These guys are the greatest. They'll look after you, make sure you get your license, teach you what you need to know so you're safe on the road. You know, all that sort of stuff. Make sure you hit them up. As usual, the bike's doing a wheelie up there. It's always the spirit. they got a wheelie simulator here. You can hire and learn to do wheelies and stuff like that in a safe environment. Um, dyno tuning, that's, that's what we're here for today. All your servicing needs, these guys will get up with that as well. So don't be afraid to call these guys right here because they're the guys to call. All right, I'll see you when we're on the dyno. <laughs> all right, guys. He's all about this friendly face, Jack. He's still 40 foot tall. Probably not even in the frame. And uh, yeah, he won't be because he can't be too tall. But hello. <laughs> We're gonna do the tyres on this, or front, and then it's going on the dyno, and then we'll do the rear afterwards. We also got some brake stuff to do to it. Thanks to One Addiction for helping me out, and uh, yeah, we'll get it all sorted. Look, everybody, Jack, number one key ride instructor in Brisbane, right there. This man, right here. That's so, a, that's a big that, that guy there, number one. Oh, just feel the pinkness of that. Lube it up, Jack. Yeah, mm, yeah baby. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. Jack's gonna go for the magic throw. He's gonna fail. I have no faith in him. Oh, he was so close. We'll get, we're gonna give it to him, he still just pushed it on like it was nothing. Slicks, man. Nah, I've put them on. Alright, you probably don't really care how the fucking tyre goes on, so we'll catch you soon, bro. Alright, guys, we're in the dyno room. We're gonna run Brett's bike first. He's one of the guys coming to PI. Meet Brett. He's not looking but meet Brett. That's Brett. That's Brett. There's Jack. The dyno man. There he is. The handsome man. That's Brett. Here's 2015 R1. It's gonna be all with us. We're gonna put up some dyno and see what power it makes.
Alright, All right. so this is the new master cylinder in place. It comes with a new one of these, you like the reservoir, master cylinder, um, three points of adjustment, how hard it hits, where the lever sits, and the stroke. So, like how far you'll pull it before it hits, before, like, so you can go make it so that when it hits here, that's full brakes, or you can make it so it breaks here, or you can make it so it breaks all the way in here. Then you can choose how hard it hits, so when it when you get to there, if you want it to, it'll just slam the brakes on as hard as it can and all that sort of stuff. So it's a great little gizmo. Hopefully it works out to be absolutely awesome and we'll soon find out.
All right, guys, we're pretty much finished up here. The lever's on, hits pretty hard, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's got a lot of adjustment, as I said earlier, so we'll, um, we'll mess with that, see if we can't get it better. Um, dyno run went well. It's still the same after a few mods that it's had, so that's good, I'm happy with it. So look forward to hitting the track and see what it does in two days' time. All right, guys, we're all sorted out here at um, One Addiction. We've been here all afternoon. We had a few dramas fitting this master cylinder up. It, um, sort of a one fits all sort of size so you gotta sort of MacGyver it to fit your bike and whatnot maybe had my bike been a bit newer um, it might have just fit a lot better but my bike's fairly old so you know five bottles so we did a bit of MacGyvering made it work it's on the bike it fits brakes pretty good I'm happy dyno said before dyno was good um, all the new tires are fitted and just so you know, this is Jack's pride and joy right here, this one, MT-09. Um, it has got everything you can imagine done to it, besides opening the engine. Everything. And he loves it. He's, and it looks brand new. There's nearly 100,000 Ks on it, brand new. Anyways, guys, cheers for coming along. And um, I'll try and get some footage of Morgan Park, doing a practice run before we go to PI. We're going to PI in just over a month, so it's not far away now. And then we'll uh, we'll do a full PI vid and show you how much fun we had on the way down there, on the way home, while we we're there, go-karts, I don't know, whatever else. See you then, guys. Bye.